everyone, it's hello everyone, it's Jackie Rose with Jackie's Ramblings.com and DirtPornomore.com. Today's video, and I'm scheduling it for tomorrow. Today's Wednesday, so I'll be um, po posted live on Thursday. Is regarding the partial government shutdown. Um, first, let's go over the facts about the shutdown before I give you all my thoughts. And this is my thoughts on the partial government shutdown. So the facts first. Um, let's see. I broke this down. Okay, it started on December 22nd. Um, let's see. Wait, let me just get my phone. Hold on. I can't read my handwriting. Isn't that crazy? Okay. I saved the article, though, on my phone. I'm on my computer, if you can't tell. And I'm still wearing the same shirt. I'm showering today, so... Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to use this. Okay, this is a CBS News article regarding the partial government shutdown. About what's closed and whatnot. Okay, it started December 22nd. And I think we're on the 31st day... Or something of it. I don't know from what I've seen on uh, Facebook. Nine out of 15 federal departments are closed, as well as some agencies. Um, so 75% of the government services are unaffected by the shutdown. So your taxes will be still taken out of your check and everything. Um, about 800 federal, 800,000 federal workers, um, half are on furlough, which means they're sent home without pay and the other half cannot work. So for me, this is about the people. I'm not going to involve politics. In fact, I think the politics in general, all of it, both sides is bullshit. So that's my stance on that. It's just a left right paradigm. And that's all I got to say about that as far as the left right and all that. This is about the people. Okay. Now, um, I'm not done. So let's see. So right now, 38 million people are on food stamps, and as of updated, um, they did get them for February, but they did tell them to, uh, what's the word, ration them to last them because they don't know if they're going to get them in March. And um, and then you got to think about the federal workers who, um, and this is what I think is going to happen is a domino effect because I've seen some articles that, um, regarding their, you know, people being able to pay, um, pay for their mortgage and stuff. But what I do like though, is a lot of businesses have donated their, uh, restaurants to give free food for the, um, government workers, you know, the food banks have really stepped up, you know, that's everyone working together to help these people because they are still people and it's about us people. We all, nothing about the government. This is about the people and what, how it's affecting them. But what I like is the businesses are stepping up. The small businesses especially are stepping up and helping and, and that's really good for them because that's really unfair. You know, they work and, and then the ones that have to work without pay, I mean, that should be, that, I, I can imagine that's really rough, you know, and, uh, but people are really stepping up and helping them. Um, they said they were unsure about tax refunds when I first wrote this down, but now they say that they are going to issue tax refunds during the, um, partial government shutdown. Um, I believe so. Um, Today is, oh yeah, we are on the 31st day because it started December 22nd and we're on January 23rd. So I think it is the 31st day of the government shutdown. And um, let's see. Yeah. The federal workers have already missed, I believe they're coming up on missing their second paycheck because I learned, I know that. Federal employees get paid once a month, so um, we still get mail delivery. The Social Security people still get the, um, people on Social Security or SSI. They still get their checks, um, and also Medicare and Medicaid um, is unaffected. And the vets are still getting their funding through September 2019 because I guess they're they're receiving donations or something. And um, 
let's see. Yeah, so my thoughts are, which I kind of already stated, this is about the people, okay? I don't care about all the other circus that's going on around this whole thing of why it's happening. This is about the people with families. This is about the people who rely on food stamps um, and the federal workers, you know. And this is going to, I feel like this is going to be like a domino effect for something worse. And it, it's just, it's a circus. And these people, these regular people are being affected by it, you know. And that's who I care about. I don't care about the circus um, or this whatever, whatever. I don't care about that. But these people, um, they have to survive, you know, and, and, you know, everyone always says, oh yeah, federal workers have a great job, but now look at their situation, you know, I mean, and, and another thing I want to mention is everyone should always have a plan B, no matter what. You have to have a plan B, not just savings, but you have a, have to have an income-producing plan B. And I'm not talking about investments, neither. You need to figure out a plan B because, you know, the whole world could... But you know what, though, people... I was watching some videos. It's true. You know, you have to go into, sur you go into survival mode, you know? And, and that's what these people are doing, you know? These everyday people, we the people. We are the people. The people are important. I don't care about the circus. Um, but, you know, at least the food banks are stepping up. Some local businesses are stepping up. I think, I guess, the celebrities are helping, whatever. I'm sorry, I just, no comment on that. But, um, I guess some corporations, too. Again, no comment on that. But, you know, at least the, the food banks and the local businesses are stepping up to help people. Um, and, and, and that's really great, you know, and, and at least I am grateful that we at least have food banks out there in case people do ever run into a, a unexpected situation. You know, I consider myself, I'm very grateful, very, very grateful and appreciate, um, my situation as a single mom, you know, I'm so lucky and grateful, you know, beyond belief and, but no matter what, you know. You have to think long. You have to think something unexpected could happen. No matter what. No matter when. You have to. You're going to either have to jump into survival mode or prepare. Because this world is just getting crazier by the minute. But it's important to get into survival mode. Um, and just start, you know, check your, eat out of your pantry and cupboards and your fridge. Uh, buy stuff like beans and rice and, uh... Uh, you know, stuff like that, or even in canned goods. Canned goods is really cheap, too. Um, I don't, I still haven't, I, I've always wanted to, but I never have um, made real beans. I just always buy the canned beans. That's just how I am. But anyway, my point is just eat out of your pantry and cupboard. You know, buy goods like canned goods and beans. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, get into survival mode. And always have a plan B for your income. Don't depend on your savings. Your savings is there. I mean, you, you just, you got to have a plan B. And that that's my advice, you know. And I feel very sorry for those affected by it. Uh, I am so sorry my heart goes out to you. And, um, and, and I'm just really sorry, you know. Um, I wish there was something I could do. But, um, but yeah, just get in a survival mode. Eat out of your pantry and cupboards. And buy things basics like beans and canned foods and stuff like that and um and have a plan b but that is my thoughts on it and remember this is about the people this isn't about the circus so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later and this is posted thursday so have a great thursday and and have a great weekend and i'll talk to you later bye